it's Gabby. Happy holiday season. So as you can tell, it's probably getting colder in your part of the woods and you're probably looking for a coat right now. So I wanted to create a video on whether or not you should consider J. Crew coats. I am wearing one right now and I want to dedicate this video on whether or not it was worth its price tag. So I hope you enjoy. So first things first, let's go over some general basics. This is a Daphne top coat. It's currently being sold at the J.Crew website for roughly $248. So you know me, I do not buy J.Crew at full price. So I actually waited until this was 30% off and then I bought it. <laughs> so this comes in tall, regular, petite. It also comes in icy orchid, which is what I'm wearing now, brown as well as black. So let's get started to the actual review. So the first thing I wanted to go over was the general fit. So let me show you a jacket that does not fit me right. As you can tell for this one, I have linebacker shoulders, the arms are the wrong length, it's generally bunching up in the wrong areas, and overall it's overwhelming me. Now let's look at this coat. As you can tell here, it fits me perfectly and it is super flattering on my figure. The shoulders hit right, it's the right arm length, it's the right length overall. And the reason why is J. Crew for most of their coats sells them in tall, regular, and petite. And if, you've if you are a fun size woman like myself and have never tried a petite coat, girl, go to the mall, try it on. It is such a game changer because I am no longer overwhelmed in coats and I no longer look like a frumpy mess. So next up is the general aesthetic. So at this price tag, I definitely didn't want something casual. If I wanted something casual, I would have bought a sweatshirt. So what I really like about J. Crew is they hit that right balance of elevated basic as well as preppy which is pretty much my aesthetic. <laughs> so as you can tell in this video, this coat works in casual settings out and about town, date nights, as well as day to day and work because it's not too trendy, but it is tailored so it does work in an office setting. So if you're someone who wants something slightly elevated, highly recommend looking at J. Crew. Okay, next one up is general quality and heat retention. So what I really like about J. Crew coats is they do prioritize the fabric material. This is 100% wool. So what's the difference between 100% wool and wool blend? Let me show you. As you can tell right here, this is super thin. You could probably assume that this would not feel comfortable when it's cold, but let me tell you, I wore this up north in 40 degree windy weather and I was perfectly comfortable. And the reason why is it's 100% wool and that is such a good heat retention fabric. Once you start incorporating other materials into that wool blend, you need to start getting thicker jackets in order to have the same heat retention. And once you start getting thicker fabric, it'll start bunching up in awkward places and start detracting from the overall aesthetic. So if that's something you care about and you don't want your jackets to bunch up, definitely consider J. Crew because they do have thinner material for wool, which still doesn't sacrifice heat because it is 100% wool. So one last thing I want to talk about quality. This is not necessarily a hit on J. Crew. This is more a mark against me. I didn't realize this jacket was not lined. So if you're someone that has sensory overload, if things aren't lined or you don't like things that are itchy, don't buy this jacket. This jacket is not lined. So if you are very sensitive, you will notice that this is wool because wool is not necessarily a fine, thin fabric, kind of like silk. So that's more of a mark against me. I didn't do my appropriate research. So if you look at other brands like Abercrombie & Fitch, Zara, or Mango, those jackets are lined, but they are not 100% wool blend. So there's some give and take here. So something to consider, if you don't care about lined jackets, highly recommend this. I personally don't care, but it's just something that I didn't realize and I was surprised about when I purchased this jacket. Okay, so with all that being said, is J. Crew worth its price tag? I would actually say yes. And the reason why is you can compare this to other competitors out on the market right now, just like Abercrombie and Fitch. On the positive, they're super cute, they do sell petite, but they're a wool blend, so it'll start bunching up on you if you, know, if you look very carefully. Other ones are like Mango and Zara. They're wool blends and they don't offer petite sizing and the quality is a little questionable. So with all that being said, putting all that into account, I highly recommend J. Crew coats. I will purchase this time and time again. The only thing I would probably do differently is probably buy coats in the summer. I made that mistake and bought this in the fall, but that's my mistake to be made. Um, overall, I do enjoy this coat. I highly recommend J. Crew coats and maybe you'll consider them in the future. 
All right, bye.